Welcome back to the USWNT Hour alongside Lori Lindsay. I'm Lisa Roman, and we have a very special guest today, Heather O'Reilly. Before we get into the second half of this show, a quick reminder that if you're joining us live on YouTube right now, you can win a $100 Paramount Plus gift card. All you need to do is drop your social media handle without the at symbol in the chat and I will pick a winner. You'll get a DM from us. You'll get the gift card. That's about NWSL for an entire year. You can watch CONCACAF W Championships this summer, Serie A Champions Leagues, all the wonderful things that you can watch on Paramount Plus. Drop your social media handle in the chat right now for a chance to win. All right, Heather, you've told us so much about what you're doing post-retirement, how you're still involved in the game. You're a coach, you're a broadcaster, you're a ninja, you're a marathoner. You can truly do it all. But I want to talk a little bit about the current team. We got some great questions from a lot of our listeners. So thank you everyone who did that. If you have more questions for Heather, drop them in the chat right now. We will try to get to them. Um, but looking at, we got this question from Chris Meister on Twitter. He mentioned that on the current U.S. women's national team roster, which player do you think is most similar to your style as a player when you are playing? If you you look at the current roster that's been out most recently um, with the national team, is there any player that stands out to you that you think, oh, yeah, that's the style I was playing? That's the type of player I was? Um, <clears throat> I, I think that there is a lot of similarities between myself and Kelly O'Hara. I know that she's not a super – young, uh, you know, Gen Z uh, selection there. But I do think Kelly and I are like cut from the same cloth in a lot of regards in terms of our, like our physique, our like, uh, our physical skills, um, our engine getting up and down the pitch, putting good crosses in the box. I think that she's a little bit more like physical and like, likes the likes the, the tackle a little bit more than I do. Um, but I think in terms of like a mentality, a competitiveness, um, an energy, uh, and, uh, I, I would like to say a leadership um, presence it, with all those things. I think, um, yeah, I, I do see a little bit of myself in, in Kelly. And I, I'm really so proud of how she has, um, I think, performed and also led like a really young Washington spirit team to a, a championship. I think that that was that was incredible. I mean, when I looked at their roster, I was like, geez, like Kelly's like total grandma on this team. And uh, she embraced it. I think that like in terms of a player that's leads by example, Kelly's wonderful in that respect because she just, she loves the grind of training. Um, she loves competition. And I think that it was really important for, for young players to, to see that and be around that. So um yeah, I, I'd say I'd say Kelly's a, a little bit of the old school still, so I, I, I'd connect uh, her with me in that way. Lori, for you, is there anyone that you played you played with? Heyo, uh, gal, if you will, is there anyone now that you know the team that you think compares to how she was as a player? Yeah, I mean the Kelly Hair one's a good shout, and I was thinking more of a, a younger so, but I, th I think that's a that's a great comparison. Um, you know, I think there's some similar qualities to, and, and this is a like for like. So please in the chat, let's not go bonkers. <laughs> be like no, like Lori said, right? Like, um, I, but there's some qualities of Sophia Smith that I think in terms of your ability to get in behind, and when she, especially when she's on, you know, she plays a little bit differently when she's in Portland because it's two front typically, but when she's on the national team, she's in the wing. Um, obviously much like um, the majority of your career as well. So I, I think her willingness to take on, go on 1v1, get isolated on in the wide areas is very much something um, that is similar to your qualities for sure. Um, so Sophia Smith is the one that had like, when I saw that question come through is the one that like immediately came to mind. Um, yeah. which well, is, thank you. Cause I think that she, um, yeah, I mean, if if you see any resemblance there, I take that as a huge compliment because what a young talent she is and um, the way that she takes on 1v1 is able to uh, get to the byline, pull some good crosses back, is able to set up her teammates and score goals for herself, um, I think is really exciting for the national team and, and her club. So, yeah. Um, it also reminds me, because I don't know if, if people remember that are listening, it's like, you know, Hale started playing on national when she was 11. So um, mm -hmm. very similar to Sophia Smith. <laughs> so you have that as well, right? Like just like being able to grow up and um, through 
that environment and continue to mature as a player. And she's getting that in the NWSL, but also with the national team as well. So some similarities, I think, in that and just like the growth of in the path that you all took as well is, is, is interesting to me. Uh, you still play. I mean, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 11 a.m., get your tickets, go to go to Chapel Hill, watch her play on the pitch there. Some other coaching. Yeah, move to Chapel Hill for these games. <laughs> and we're going to start the AARP, former NWSL League, of course, for all of these players. But looking at the current U.S. roster, you mentioned that you're very similar playing style to Kelly O'Hara. Lori gave a shout out to similar to Sophia Smith. Is there a player on the current roster that you would like to play with? play alongside in the midfield or have in behind you or next to you or in front of you? Is there a player that you're like, wow, I'd love to get 45 playing alongside her? <laughs> or 90. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, with your fitness, let's go for the yeah. night. Go on now. Um, I, I guess I, I think that like Trinity Raman just makes me smile. Like I just like watching her play because she's just got like an energy to her. Um, and like, she just loves getting the ball behind, like, she's just, she's just exciting. So I think that like, I would have a lot of fun playing with her. I, you know, I saw her and Ashley Sanchez do a little like goal celebration dance the other day. And it just seems like she, like, she brings it with her, um, with her energy, with her positivity. Um, yeah. And, 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 and she's not shying away from these huge expectations that people have for her. And I, I think that that's awesome and really cool. So I'd love to, to lace them up uh, and, and play with, play with Trinity. I love that. You'll have to keep practicing your dance moves because she does always give a little dance after she scores the goals and celebrates. And when you give the assist, you got to dance with her. So I love that. We'll get Trinity out there with you, Heather. Thank you so, so much for being here. So much for joining us. Final thoughts from both of you. Lori, I'll start with you. Final thoughts on anything we talked about today and a final story about Heyo. Anything else? Uh, no, well, my only final thought is we're going to have you back on, especially when it gets closer to either the roster or World Cup qualifiers, if you're down for that. And just love show me the money, Lori. Show yeah. me the money. Oh, you know it. We love you lots, gal. I mean, <laughs> you're regular, okay? Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you, ladies. You're doing an awesome job. And Lori is the best. I mean, when I think about Lori, like, I just think about both her ankles taped up, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. We'll talk uh, about that the next episode. I haven't brought yeah, that one up. <laughs> exactly. I haven't. I haven't had enough time to talk about Lori, but um, Gao out. Love seeing you guys. Keep up the great work. Yeah, thank we love you Thanks so up. much. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks everyone so much for listening, Heather O'Reilly. This has been a blast. If you liked this video and you dropped your social media handle in the chat, look out for a DM for us. You can be our Paramount Plus gift card winner. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at Attacking Third for more. We're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, and anywhere that you listen to your podcast. Subscribe to us on YouTube to catch our interviews and get alerts for when we go live. YouTube.com/slash Attacking Third. We'll be back next Monday for another US. SWNT hour. Thanks so much, Heather, Lori. I'm Lisa saying goodbye. Have a great day, everyone.